Okay, this how-to video is gonna show you how to use the differential pair return path via option, which is inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So when you're routing a differential pair, um, and I'll just pick up a differential pair here, and we start to route, obviously when I add vias, double click to add a via, I get a default set of vias. Now, um, a lot of people nowadays want to add um, some ground net return path vias in various patterns around these um, to get a good return path on the differential pair itself, which can help with the, just the general performance, electrical performance of this of this differential pair. And the way we can do this inside the Cadence PCB tools is um, if we just do a right click, there's actually a return path vias option. So we've got some different settings here. So let's just have a look at the settings under the right click. Um, so we can effectively start off by setting up effectively the net name and the pad stack. This can be done with just the browse button and we can obviously choose any net available in the design or use the DC nets option, which would show you anything that effectively has a, a voltage property. So I'm just gonna pick uh, zero volts on this one. And then from the pad stack, same scenario, I can pick anything from the database, the library, or the physical C set rule. So this is what's available in that rule itself. So I'm gonna pick this via here. The spacing options allows us to effectively have um, whether we want one via, whether we want vias in line, whether we want an equidistant set, offset vias, a diamond set of vias, or a rectangular set. Um, and then obviously when we do a right click, we can choose uh, return path vias and then we can pick which option we want. So obviously if we had one via, that would show a single via. That would show them in line. That's an equidistant option. Offset, you can actually click OK to this message um, or do not show again to not see it. So that's the offset one. There's a diamond set. And then there's the rectangular set there. So you have different options to how you want the return path vias. And then once they've been set, obviously when I place the vias, if I double click again to add the vias again, it's gonna maintain that kind of rectangular pattern because that was the last one that I picked. It would then effectively, these vias are then connected directly to the ground plane. So if I was to turn on the ground plane, it's connected to a, the ground plane with a full contact. Um, this clearance is obviously um, a different setting. There's a setting under setup and global dynamic parameter under shape, sorry, under global dynamic parameters. There's a diff pair combined voyeurs. When, so when you use the return path option, you can actually get the the, the vias voided um, in this kind of um, combined option, which can give you a better performance from an impedance point of view as well. 